So I don't know why I'm saying I won't kill a pig. I absolutely will. I absolutely will. For whatever re you know what? To heck with it. We're killing pigs all day long. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Ashes of Oahu. I just want to poke along with this a little bit more. I'm kind of taken with this game. It's got some neat ambitions and ideas behind it. And I was on my way back to try and see if we can deal with that raider camp that was most frustrating to us the last time. But then I noticed there's a guy over here. There's just a guy sitting at a bus stop. Um, you're going to be waiting a long time for a bus, but it does appear you've got a quest for me. So what's your deal, Tacitus? Um, are you, by your very nature of your name, rather silent? A stranger who can help? Damn Islanders banished me. Okay, and you're covered in blood, by the way. All you did was try to make the farm a safer place, and you got to a scrap with a pack of raiders. Yeah, I'm about to do the same. I'm on the same page as you, man. Barely got away, scrounge what you need to get better. With some surgical supplies, you could fix yourself up. Yeah, see, here's the thing with that. I have one bandage left, and it's kind of for me. Uh, so what do you want? Surgical supplies from the farm. Okay, well, we may look at that. Maybe that's just something we collect from somebody. We say, hey, uh, this guy's out by the bus stop waiting for a bus that's never, ever going to come. Can I have some surgical supplies to bring back to him? And then he might go join the farm or something. It could be like a new resident. Okay, back to raider camp. What I'd actually like to do first is swing over to the bunker and drop a save because I've just walked all the way from the farm, which is way over there, and I harvested a few pigs on the way for their sinew so I can hopefully make some more bandages. Speaking of which, I, I just saw a pig up there, didn't I? By the bus stop? Didn't I see a, some sort of creature kicking around? I think I, if I could grab one more sinew, I think I have enough to make another bandage. Let me just see if I can put my eyes on that thing again. No, apparently not. That's unfortunate. I should have taken advantage of that while it was there. I don't see anything with magic vision here that looks like it's alive and easy to kill. Okay, so I'm going to basically have to try and deal with these raiders with a single bandage on me. Super! I'm going to go see if I can sneak over to the bunker and drop a save, and then we'll figure out how we're going to deal with these guys. Now, oddly, according to the game, I've never been here before, because I just discovered it. We... We've totally been here. Maybe it's just a little bit of a glitch or something, but the game is claiming I've never been here. I got the whole tutorial on how bunkers work again. Maybe that's just a weird little bug or glitch that I'm going to get that every time. No matter the case, that should drop a save right there. So at least I've got a recent save point to deal with this. Yeah, and the usual cast of characters are still here. And there's a lot of them. There's a heck of a lot of them. There's that guy, and he's often out on his own. And I feel, I feel we could pick him off and remain hidden. Pretty, oh yes, the pig alarm. We, we've done this game. We, we've totally done this. I'm not sure why you're giving me this tutorial again, but we've kind of covered this. Now, if he just wanted to stay still, like that, uh, yeah, that. And I do love the fact that it goes into slow-mo when we're aiming. That's a really, really neat little feature. Okay, um, yeah, get, get out of bow. Or, or don't. Um, just hide. Basically hide. One down. Oh, oh, reinforcements. They've set off the pig alarm. They've set off the pig alarm. Oh, oh, they found me. They've totally found me. Uh, go to the bunker. Go to the bunker. Go to the bunker. All right, so two things. Are they still alerted? And is... That guy's back. That that guy's totally back. No, turn on magic vision. It's that guy again. So he respawns every time I, I go to the bunker. So I've kind of got to take them all out at once. That's a little fussy. I'm not as keen on that as I might like to be. I mean, I think if he's dead, he's dead. I It does seem to have an incredibly high respawn rate, which is why I was able to farm so many pigs to make bandages in the last one. But... You there, Sparky. Uh, oh, darn you, move. You're moving. Stop moving. I, I would like to shoot you in the face. Please. Maybe I should start on the other side. No, I think I'm kind of committed to shooting this guy in the face. He should come over here and then, yeah, stay perfectly still. Can I get, like, a headshot on you? Yep, sure can. Okay. And nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. 
yeah, your your soul is escaping. That's fine. I'm basically okay with that. Um, all right, so I don't know if that answers my question if headshots are indeed a thing, but I'm going to give it a try on contestant number two here because the first time we shot him, we just got him in the chest, and I think he had time to alert his buddies. We're going to get contestant number two to go all the way back to where he stands over there, try another headshot, and see how that's going to go. So any second, he should start standing still for a little bit at any moment. Yeah, there we go. And this will slow time down. Let's just try and get a nice old headshot. Yes. Okay. Headshots do seem to do more damage. That's twice in a row that's worked. I'm pretty willing to call that proof positive. So good. If I can just keep getting headshots on people, especially the guy who's manning the pig alarm like you okay all right now all right they're alerted they're alerted but not crazy alerted headshot to you okay i i think we're getting somewhere with these guys i feel that's probably about all we're going to be able to do from this side of the camp i really want to go in and drop a save but i feel they're just all going to respawn so there's no real point to doing that i'm going to see if i can kind of sneak around the side of the camp here trying to stay in cover i'm not even going to try and loot anything until i'm done and if that means people despawn then they despawn i'll just try and live with that but i want to see if we can get all the way around here oh actually you're in a pretty good position for a headshot or at least you were until you moved. Yeah, I think let's go to the other side of the camp and see if we can pick off a few more of these guys. All right, basically making it over here without incident. The only thing is I've only got three more arrows. I don't suppose there's any hibiscus kicking around here that I could harvest for some more mana. No. Okay, those are just birds. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. They're just birds. Everything is 100% fine. Let's just get into the nice tall grass here where we are effectively invisible and now we're on the other side okay who lives over here you do boy you're in a fussy place though ah what if could i maybe draw you out over here with my distraction okay so rock over there he is not fussed by that okay so he didn't he didn't clip onto that at all I bet it would work for this guy. Where's my where's my tall grass here? I don't have much on that side though. And this is a terrible place to try and shoot people from. Um maybe not you though. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. I think I can get a bead on you. Can I? Yeah, maybe a little bit, not quite. Sort of get your head there. Oh, we just peel over a little tiny bit here. Oh, this is going to be the trick shot to end all trick shots. Oh, yeah, got him. Got him. Okay, good. One more down. How many are left? One. I don't think I can see beyond that range of cars there. I think there's more than one left, though. I'm going to try sneaking over this way now and see if I can get a beat on that other one. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this, this, uh, that guy's right there. It would be nothing for him to turn around and spot me at this point. Absolutely nothing. Uh, let's hustle over to the tall grass. Let's see if we can get in there before he figures this out. We are kind of deep in the camp right now. Uh, yeah, I know tap RB to throw a rock. That's how rocks work, game. We've kind of covered this. Uh, is he fussy? Is he looking for me? No. My little search eyeball at the top there doesn't say he's looking for me. And he's kind of coming into a... Oh, you're just coming into a perfect position. You are coming into a perfect position, Sparky. Would you like to maybe stay completely still for two seconds and I will just shoot you in the face and it'll all be fine. Good night. Oh, uh, he's not dead. Uh, shoot him in the groin. That'll work for Virg. Oh, he's still not dead. I'm out of mana. Oh, dear. Um, less good. Less good. Okay, he's going to set off the pig alarm, isn't he? All right, charge. Ch charge. Charge. Don't set off the pig alarm, please. Don't set off the pig alarm. Uh, he set off the pig alarm. Just shit, shoot him, just stab him, do everything to him, please. Okay, but there now there are reinforcements. Okay, hustle, hustle, hustle. Free this guy. Hi, uh, you, talk to you. Uh, we don't have a lot of time to talk, Chief. We don't have a lot of time to talk. 
uh, yeah, um, are, I, I am getting you out of here. I'm, they're they're going to kill you. Yes. How do I get you out of here? Yep. Reinforcements have clearly shown up. Um, this 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 could go horribly wrong. Yep. That went horribly wrong. Right, so I'm back out of the bunker, and I've had a few stabs at it, and the pig alarm is not to be taken lightly, because the second they fired that thing off, we're all dead. So, uh, why have I got a red marker up there? Who's, who's available to be shot up there? I don't know, never mind. So, I took care of the two that were right in front here, as usual in the bunker. That's the easy part of the equation. It's the rest of these guys are fussy. And what I can do, I mean, it's not my ideal in a perfect world, but, you know, this is the post- oh, hi. 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 Uh, this is the post-apocalyptic time, and, um, you know, I think what I'm gonna have to do is just kill the pig. I think that's the problem here. I'm really, really sorry about this. I'm very sorry. Under normal circumstances, I would not do that, but I need to eliminate the pig alarm like hardcore. Now, I think I can kind of pick these guys off at my leisure. Right, so got the guy over on the left there, and they're a little fussy. They're kind of looking for me, but what they're not doing is setting off the pig alarm. I'm out of mana, but right in front... Oh, and there's a guy here I can loot. Oh, emergency kit. Yes, thank you. Right, oh, crouch, 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 man. Hitman style here. Hidden, gla hidden grass, totally invisible. Uh, right outside the bunker, there is some hibiscus that I totally didn't see the last time. Uh, yeah, I've re, re, rediscovered the parking lot. Got it. So there's some three arrows right there, and there's some more right in front here that I can grab. There's six more arrows. Okay, I'm feeling a little better about things. Pig alarm disabled. Most of them are down, and I think what I need to do is go back the other way that I just was and pick off the other two, unless, can I get a shot on the guy who's actually guarding the prisoner from here? Uh, no. No, I need to go back around the other way. Okay, can do. Yeah, right from here, I've got a great shot on this guy. So let's get this headshot lined up nice and tight here. Boom. Done. And I just, there it is. There's some more hibiscus I can put the bow away. There's some more hibiscus I can gather right here. Just to make sure I'm topped off on spirit arrows. Okay, who's left? One guy over there, I think. I'm pretty sure he's the last one. I just need to get in a position where I can take him out. And we'll try from around this side over here. But I might be on to something. I don't I don't I don't want to shoot a pig under normal circumstances. You know, I say that, and I spent a good deal of time killing pigs just so I can have bandages. So I don't know why I'm saying I won't kill a pig. I absolutely will. I absolutely will. For whatever re you know what? To heck with it. We're killing pigs all day long. Oh, hang on. Search engine compartment. Um, okay. Rifle ammo. Uh, there's another battery that I don't need anymore, but I do need that rubber. I Oh, crouch, dude. Crouch. I definitely need that rubber, because that's the next stage of this little quest, is to set this place up as, like, a new outpost. Cool. Let me just see if I can get a good spot to get a bead on this guy. Uh, no, he's, he's spotted me, but I think it's going to be okay. We're just going to try and shoot him in the face uh, a lot, and you have no reinforcements. Outpost cleared. Holy moly, thank goodness. All right. No mean feat, but achievable. Even for me. All right, stop telling me to throw a rock. There. There. Go away. I know how to throw rocks game. Uh, yes, get some more hibiscus. Let's top up our mana here. Now, I can kind of go around and loot all of these people. Uh, yeah. Oh, Molotov. All right, I'm full of Molotovs. Yeah, boy, I've had that complaint before. Uh, can I take anything on this table? No, I should probably deal with the captive first. Where, where, did he, where did he live? Where, where did you go, Sparky? Did, did you just disappear? Where did, where did you go? You were totally a prisoner and... Oh, there you are. I see you over there. Hi. Hi. Free the prisoner. Can do. What? 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 Oh, God. It's one of the gods again. Ah, don't jump out at me like that, Chief. 
So Burning Feather Guy has dropped in to tell me about factions. So decide who to make an ally and who to make an enemy. So I'm there we go, and we've got a nice little tutorial. Now the Islanders, we're already already got some points with them because we've done a few quests on Uncle Joe's farm there. The Hawaiians, the Research Institute. Ooh. Secretive Scientific Collective. Oh, I like the sound of them. N tech augmentations we could get from them. Ooh, lava dogs. Okay, so they seem sort of like a military mercenary kind of crowd. And the raiders that we're killing, um, or at least finally. Oh, and they're always an enemy. There is no way for us to gain reputation with them. Uh, so the Hawaiians. Now, why do I have a point with the Hawaiians? What did I do for you? I must have done something. Okay, cool. Let's um, let's get out of that and free. Yes, uh, one of your friends from the farm is tied up. Yeah, I know. I was actually on my way to him, and you swooped down and scared the bejesus out of me. So I'm gonna get on that. Thank you. Uh, where, where did he go? There you are. Hi. Yeah, untie you. Off you go, Sparky. Uh, you, you can just leave. Run away. Run away. Go away. All right. You know what? I'm just gonna go looting. More emergency kits. More ammo. More blood. Apparently we're taking that. Okay. I hope there's a way to increase my inventory at some point down the road. I would hate for this to be my only inventory. Uh, free the prisoner. I'm... I thought I did. Oh, we have to talk to you. Okay. Right. Uh, are you all right? Leave. Just leave. How'd you end up tied up like that? Came to investigate that bunker and the raiders found me. Yeah, they found me a bunch of times too and they killed me. Thankfully, I can respawn and you can't. Uh, old bunkers all over Oahu. Yeah, I, I, I've got this, Chief. We actually did a tutorial on the bunker before I freed you. Quite a while before I freed you. Trying to document them all. And storage vaults. See, that's what I feel. I feel we can store stuff in there. Maybe once we've got this guy free, maybe we can unlock some new things for our bunkers. Uh, ain't sticking around here. No, you can leave. Uh, look me up when you visit. Where are you going? Uncle Joe told me to drop in on you. Right. You should go find him. I already have. Okay, don't forget about the bunker out the hill. Oh, so I gotta go back to the bunker. Okay, I mean, I feel we've kind of covered bunker, but I'll, I'll pop back in. Maybe there's some new things we can do up there. Okay, we, yes, all right. We've got, uh, we finished doing They Pave Paradise, but we've just got a new quest to find Uncle Joe at the farm. I've already talked to Uncle Joe. We've actually done this quest. I feel... There might be a little sequencing issues with the quests in this game where I, I've absolutely done this. It's not like I'm not going to take the free XP for going back and doing exactly what I've already done, but we found Uncle Joe. We've talked to Uncle Joe. Okay, that's fine. Um, I could save here, which would be inherently valuable because I don't want to fight those raiders again. That took me not a small amount of time. Is there anything else I can do? Any reason we were told to come back to the bunker? Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, I'm just going to drop a save, and then I want to investigate the whole turning the parking lot thing into a new outpost. Well, with that tagged as my primary quest, it brings me over to this junk pile where I can just rebuild the outpost. I guess this is sort of a, a workbenchy kind of thing. Now, I don't have that, right? But we can work on that. We just found some stuff in that car. So I'm going to presume that if I can just go find some other lootable cars around here, because that other one did have rubber, or, you know what, I haven't even really looted the camp, per se. Can I, can I like, have this tire? Because that's clearly rubber. That's, that's like, what tires are. Um, let me just poke around. I haven't even looked in any of the raider buildings or anything like that. See if I can scare up some resources around here. I was kind of straying away from the, uh, the whole bunker area and noticed, because I keep occasionally turning on magic vision, couple of friendlies up there. Yet again, more folks waiting by the bus stop. Uh, anything I can get in here? Okay, it seems like if a car has its hood popped open, that's searchable. That seems to be my experience so far. If the hood is closed, not so much. Oh, you're both quest givers. Okay, let's go see what you've got to say. Okay, this person had literally nothing to say to me apart from the fact of saying, I can't talk to you, but did direct me over here. So what have you got to say? He's understandably a bit paranoid. What's the deal with you guys anyway? I don't know why he acts like this. Well, we'll have to fend off someone eventually. Could probably use the practice. So you're just a bunch of paranoid people running away from the apocalypse. We used to be part of a large group of raiders. 
Well, you don't look the part. You've never been cut out for it. No, you dress far too well for a start. Did horrible things. Ran, left in the night, took some, some supplies. Uh, would you like to sell me those supplies? Is that a thing we could do? You guys are both horrible at keeping things to yourselves. Uh, it's just another reason why we really didn't fit in. Ah, take this salvage. Maybe it'll come in useful. Most of the cars have been stripped or rusted out. Oh, and I've just confirmed that, but if you see any with their hoods popped, make sure to check them out. So, hoods popped, lootable. What are you giving me? Steel, steel, glass, rubber. Ah, you just gave me all the things I need, didn't you? You just actually gave me everything I needed. All I had to do was come over here. Uh, that should be, yep, everything I need, I just got. So, all I really needed to do was come over to these guys. That's almost a little easy, game. That's almost a little easy. I would like to kind of wander around. It being an open world game, I'd love to wander around and find those things myself. Maybe run into some danger. Probably get killed again. I mean, I totally get it. We're still very much in a tutorial area, so it doesn't surprise me that we just be gifted all the materials that we need. Certainly, plenty of games have done that in the past, but it might have been nice to wander around and kind of try to find those things for myself. I had found most of them, just a little shy on glass. So what happens if we rebuild the outpost? Uh, yes, I'm going to build that. Oh, and people just pop over. And there's a sawing noise and uh, we've got a windmill. Okie doke. And, um, oh wait, rebuild again? Are we doing more things to it? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. So it looks like maybe we could come back here with more materials and build this up. That makes a lot of sense. So right now we just just got a windmill and a guy. Where did the guy go? Can I go talk to you? Where'd you just go there, Sparky? Um, you, you were there a second ago. Hang on. Nope, he's totally disappeared. Don't know where that guy's gone, but he's gone. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hi. Oh, wait. Weren't you the one who was just at the bus stop? Okay. I mean, you've got slightly different clothing, but I think you're the person who was just at the bus stop. I didn't know I was setting this place up for you. Or I don't know if I am. Maybe you just have a similar character model. Okay. Let's go, well, return to Kath. Probably meet Uncle Joe for the second time. And then see what our plan is. I assure you, sir, I'm going to check on those surgical supplies right now. I was a little busy today. I'm sorry about that. That's just kind of the nature of things. I will certainly look at those surgical supply quests for you any moment now. Oh, hang on, hang on. Jimmy's got something for us to do here. Hi, hi. Oh, wow. Lots of people have something for us to do. Uh, you know what, Jimmy? I'll be back. Oh, wait. You're the dude I just rescued. Oh, how'd you make it back here so fast? I was running, and you made it back here before me. Uh, focus, people. Focus. Let's just focus on Kath. And then we'll complete this quest and then figure it out. It looks like I've got a... Oh, wow. There's tons of quest givers around here. Okay, Kath, it took me a while and no small amount of frustration, but I, I did your thing. Every camp that you rebuild is a foothold for us. Great. Big help. Yep, I'm sure it was. Wow, tons of XP. And faction ranking up for those guys. Super. And I'm level four. Okay, one more level and we're supposed to go back to God on the Beach and check in with him. And I'm just gonna go redo the meeting Uncle Joe thing. Joe, I have totally met you before. This is not our first time. Do, do you remember me? Uh, do you have issues, Uncle Joe? Do you have a medical condition? Um, do you remember me at all? I'm your nephew. You're so, I'm so glad you're alive. Yeah, I was alive yesterday when you met me. Saw the Raiders headed towards your camp. Too late to warn you, feared the worst. Yeah, bunch more XP for just re-meeting Uncle Joe and some more faction up. And it looks like there's plenty of people in the area here who want to give me a quest. Like, not a small amount of them, including Uncle Joe, who we just talked. You might have brought that up before I left, Uncle Joe. Uh, you have a grayed out quest, so I'm assuming we need to trigger something else to make that happen. But obviously, we've got a lot to do down on the farm here. And that is probably a good place to call it on Ashes of Oahu. Please do let me know if you'd like to see more of this in the comments. I would appreciate that. This is obviously, you know, quite a long game, a very open game. So do please let me know if you would like to see more of this, if you'd like to see less of this, if you want to see all of this, if you want to see none of this. Um, I would be interested because I'm enchanted by this in some strange way, despite its little weirdness sometimes. But it's all got down to you guys and if you want to keep watching it. So do please let me know. And Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Wow.
You could have hepatitis or golfer's elbow. I feel we should be able to narrow it down a little better. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a doctor, but I'm saying I might be able to know the difference between golfer's elbow or hepatitis. First thing I'd ask is, do you play golf? Where are you going? 